In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to multiply a mixed number by a fraction. So let's start with this example. Let's say if we have 3 and 2 fifths, and we wish to multiply by 4 over 3. How can we do so? So what I'm going to do is convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. And so the denominator of the mixed number will stay the same. So I'm going to have a 5 here. And then I need to multiply 3 and 5, which will give me 15. And then I'm going to add 2 to it. 15 plus 2 is 17. So I'm multiplying 17 over 5 by 4 over 3. So I need to multiply across. 17 times 4, that's going to be, well, 10 times 4 is 40. 7 times 4 is 28. 40 plus 28, that's going to give me 68. And then I need to multiply 5 times 3, which will give me 15. So this is my answer as an improper fraction, but I'm going to convert it back to a mixed number. And so let's use long division. 15 goes into 68 four times. 15 times 4 is 60. And 68 minus 60 is 8. So 68 over 15 is going to be 4 and 8 over 15 as a mixed number. So this is the final answer for the problem. Now let's work on another example. So let's take the mixed number 5 and 2 thirds and let's multiply it by 7 over 4. If you want to pause the video, feel free to go ahead and try it. So let's begin by converting the mixed number into an improper fraction. So we're going to multiply 5 times 3, and that's going to give us 15 plus 2. So that's going to be 17. So let's multiply 17 over 3 by 7 over 4. So what is 17 times 7? 10 times 7 is 70. 7 times 7 is 49. So 70 plus 49, that's going to be... One nineteen, And then we can multiply 3 and 4, which will give us 12. So now we got to convert this fraction back to a mixed number. And so let's use long division. Now 12 doesn't go into 11. So we need to see how many times 12 goes into 119. 12 times 8 is 96. 12 times 9 is 108. 12 times 10 is 120, which exceeds 119, so that's too much. So 12 goes into 119 9 times. 12 times 9 is 108. 119 minus 108, that's 11. So this is equal to 9 and 11 over 12. So this becomes the whole number, which you can see it here. And this is the remainder. And the denominator always stays the same when converting an improper fraction to a mixed number. So let's work on another example. 8 and 3 over 7. And let's multiply that by 4 over 5. Go ahead and try that example. So let's convert this into an improper fraction. So we have 8 times 7, which is 56, plus 3. And so that's going to be 59. So we need to multiply 59 by 4. 4 times 9 is 36. Carry over the 3. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3. That's going to be 236. And so this is 236. And then we have 7 times 5, which is 35. So let's use long division. How many times does 35 go into 236? You can keep adding it. 35 times 2 is 70. And if you add 35 to 70, that's 105. And then this is going to be 140, 175, and then 210, and then 245, which is too much. So 35 goes into 236 six times. 35 times 6 is 210. And 236 minus 210 is 26. So the final answer as a mixed number, it's going to be 
6 and 26 out of 35. So this is it.